Hello and welcome to Progressive Education Society's Modern College of Pharmacy, Nigdi, Pune. Myself, Dr. Bhushan Pimple. In this video, we will discuss about the morphology and microscopy of Isab Khula seeds. Isab Gula seeds are commonly known as Isab Gol, Isab Gol or Indian Psyllium or Psyllium seeds or Flea seeds. They are obtained as dried and ripe seeds of Plantago ovata or Plantago afra or Plantago india belonging to family Planta genus. The chief chemical constituents of these seeds are its mucilage, fixed oils, xylose and arabinose sugars. Basically, the seeds have various pharmaceutical applications of that. Its med chief medicinal property is as demulcent in the treatment of constipation. Various marketed formulations do contain either isab gul seeds or the husk that is the outermost part of the seed alone. Besides, it is actively involved in the production of tablets as a disintegrating agent as the mucilage absorbs water and swells and this swelling generally breaks the tablet which helps in disintegration of the tablet it can also be used to certain extent in various formulations as a thickening agent because it has it provides some viscosity to the aqueous solutions <clears throat> morphology of the seeds the color is it varies from pinkish brown to reddish brown it does not have any odor it is totally odorless and taste is bland that is mucilaginous size is it ranges from 1 to 2 mm to 2 to 3.5 mm shape is generally oblong or oval major special feature is the seeds are dorsally having a convex curvature whereas ventrally they have a concave surface and it's a dicot seed for taking microscopy or determining the anatomical structure of the seed the seed has to be cut transversely the seeds need to be soaked in water for minimum two to three hours and uh, preferably overnight uh, so that it softens the hard testa as well as the endosperm cells and the section taking becomes easier. This is the overall look about the microscopy of the Isab Gula seeds diagrammatic representation. The testa is the outermost part. This is the testa. Now this testa it has more amount of mucilage that means all the cells of testa are heavily loaded with mucilage and the cells are radially elongated and arranged at the periphery just below the testa region there is endosperm now this is the endosperm region the endosperm has more toughened cells or the cells Containing which are very hard and on soaking in water they soften and these this endosperm it comprises of uh, alluron grains and fixed oils the innermost region is made up of embryo this embryo is a dicot in nature and can be easily observed under the microscope and it has certain bundles that is Vascular bundles are loaded within the embryo. About the staining of the seeds, you, we can use three to four different 
staining reagents like ruthenium red now this ruthenium red it stains the mucilage reddish or pinkish in color mucilage is car a carbohydrate or a polysaccharide and ruthenium red forms a complex with this polysaccharide so it gives pinkish tint towards to the mucilage the next usual dye is sudan red green which gives a red color to the fixed oil globules present within the endosperm as well as in the embryo most of the uh, oil globules are localized in the endosperm and the about the lignified tissue majorly the lignified tissue is the vascular bundle which is loaded in the embryo part so it can be stained with lauroglucinol hcl to pink or red in color so these are the three dyes besides you can also use uh, picric acid to stain the aluron grains present in the endosperm now this is the actual micro photograph of the testa the epidermal cells of the testa which have given out certain amount of mucilage the testa cells are radially elongated you can see here the epidermal cells and just beneath the epidermal cells this layer is called as a yellow layer or a pigment layer which has yellow color this is just below the epidermis there is endosperm and as we have seen endosperm has more amount of oil globules and aluron grains so you can see here the oil globules and aluron grains loaded in each of the cells of the endosperm and the innermost layer is embryo again the embryo has certain oil globules basically and um, vascular bundles these are lignified vascular bundles which can be stained with fluoroglucinol hcl so basically these are the three regions that is a testa endosperm and embryo to be observed under isab gula seed microscopy